package um, has titles out June 4th, so out recently. Um, it is distributed by Penguin Random House, but I believe these books are all from Canada Press and the imprint Nosy Crow. So let's get started. Um, so we're going to start with this pair of board books, and this is the Lois Looks for Bob series. Um, it is Nosy Crow by Jerry Turley, and this is kind of a fun, you know, interactive board book series. It has flaps that you lift, and it's, um, you know, kind of this adventurous cat and her friend who's a dog. That's, I think it's Bob. And this one takes you on an adventure at a museum. Um, and the other one is the same type of book with flaps and the cat, Lois the cat and Bob the dog. And this one where it's a beach theme. So that's perfect for summer, hopefully, where families are visiting the beach and perhaps even art museums or any kind of museums as well. All right, the second, uh, to the two more books in this box, and the next one is How Would It Be on the Moon by Vivian Schwartz. And honestly, I am noticing this huge moon-themed, astronomy-themed um, trend in children's book publishing. I feel like there is a book about space exploration that I get almost every other week. And which is a little bit strange because it's not like in terms of the United States and our space program, it, 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 there isn't like we're, we're doing anything that's that new or exciting um, in terms of like manned space travel. But there are a lot of, um, I, I guess, like really interesting uh, findings with the Hubble uh, telescope or um, that work they did um, to, to take a picture of a black hole. So perhaps that's what's driving it, but there is, I just noticed there's just tons of space exploration, which is, I think is great, but it's also a little strange, like it's, it's happening right now. Um, so anyway, this one looks like you got a crocodile and Anna, and they are planning a journey to the moon. Um, so this is definitely a... Um, a narrative that is f fictional, but also um, melded in what it really would be like. And so that's kind of a fun twist, because a lot of the books are more realistic fiction or nonfiction. And this looks like a really nice combination and has like really charming illustrations. Um, and a diverse character. And this one even, you know, reminds me of Harold and the Purple Crayon. But um, has a lot of great elements to it, and I look forward to reading it, and I'll add it to my um, books for kids who admire astronaut list. And this last one is a, a book by Penny Dale called Dinosaur Farm, um, and this looks fun as well. And so it is about dinosaurs working on a farm. Okay, so that's kind of a creative idea and great for... Um, kids who love dinosaurs, and it looks like there's a lot of humor in here. Um, kids who like vehicles, like trucks. It definitely has sort of a farm truck dinosaur feel, which, you know, I feel like it appeals to boys and girls, um, and especially has some humor built in. Um, and everyone likes these, you know, realistic drawings of dinosaurs in a different environment. I think it's just fun. So in the back you have all the different machinery for a farm and you have on the front page like as end pages you have the dinosaurs and I imagine each of them might be in charge of a particular farm equipment piece but um, I'll read the book and I will let you know and I'll add this to my dinosaur um, book list. Alright, well thank you so much to Candlewick Press for these books.